So hello from Green Mopeds in London. So today we're going to look at a couple of the smallest electric mopeds that are currently available. Um, these are ideal for nipping to college, putting on the back of a camper van, and short distance commutes and things like that. So we've got Segway, which I'm sure you've all heard of. This is the B110S. And we've got the Super Soco CU Mini. So we'll do what we normally do, go around the bikes, tell you a little bit about them, and hopefully that will help you in the research. So let's get to it. Okay, so uh, neither of these brands really need much introduction. Segway, I'm sure you all know, they have the, or had, the lean forward, lean back, two-wheeler, upright, uh, PET, personal electric transport. Um, their logo sort of gives that away. They no longer do that uh, vehicle. Um, they now do mopeds, uh, they do quads and other things. Uh, Super Soco, obviously the largest supplier of electric mopeds and motorbikes in the UK, um, this year at least. So these are their entry level bikes. And to set the right expectation, these are lightweight, which is obviously good, but relatively low power. Okay, so if we start with things like that, the Super Soco CU so Mini has a maximum power of one kilowatt, maximum power. Okay, so if you think about that, your kettle will have probably twice that, if not more. Okay, so that's where you've got to start. It's going to have one and a half horsepower max. Okay, so if you put this on the back of your camper van and you're going to take it down to Devon or places where there are hills, don't be surprised if this uh, is found lacking. Okay, uh, they are not meant to be things that are going to shoot you up one in three hills, one in four hills. And in fact, we will take the CU Mini out and test it on our test hill, which is one in seven, to see how it gets on. The other thing uh, to mention is that they are obviously single seater, although the implication from the CU Mini is that it's two seater. Um, however, there are no pegs for a passenger. So the reality of you actually doing that is pretty remote. You could, in theory, put a pad on the back of the, the tray there for the Segway, but again, no pegs, so I'm not sure how you would do that or how you'd be comfortable taking a second person. These are really meant for, you know, getting to college, uh, short commutes, um, lightweight, so they could go on the back of camper vans, etc. Okay, so the CU Mini uh, at the, from the front, you see, has got 12 inch wheels, as has the Segway. Okay, and they've both got disc brakes, which is obviously good. Okay, down here, okay, you can see that these are not linked brakes. So in other words, uh, the right hand lever pulls the front brake and the left hand lever pulls the back brake. Okay, 50 cc equivalent licenses, which is what these are, do not require CBS. Okay, and then you can see here the same on the Segway. Okay, so not a problem, it's just something to highlight. Okay, so they've both got 12 inch wheels at the front. But if you go around the back, you'll start to see one difference between them. So on the Segway, you've got a 10 inch wheel at the back, whereas the CU Mini, you've still got a 12 inch wheel. Um, that, I guess, is because they wanted to leave a lot of space here for any sort of movement that the bike might make going over bumps, etc. Um, it says Segway on the motor, although uh, the specs actually talk about QS. QS is a, well, the largest motor supplier that we come across in this sort of business okay so whether it's qs or segway it's a good brand on the cu mini they've moved away from bosch and it just says it's a patented motor okay not a problem necessarily these motors are very reliable uh, it's just something to highlight okay so see around the back you've got this sort of tray where you can put boxes uh small sort of storage and things like that and then under the seats we see another difference. Let's just get the key. You get uh, the batteries. So 48, 20 amp hour, 48, 30 amp hour. But for essentially 50% more capacity, it seems that the Segway battery is a lot bigger. Okay, so this is seven kilos, lightweight, 48 volt, 20 amp hour. Okay, so that gives you just over one kilowatt hour of capacity. Segway, 48 and 30 amp hour, which gives you, as it says there, 1.4 kilowatt hours of capacity. So, all things being equal, 
that would mean that the Segway has got 40% more capacity and therefore potentially 40% more range. So these things are, again, not meant to be long distance bikes. They are meant to just be for poodling around and doing short commutes. Okay, so quoted ranges, well, you can actually do the maths. If you've got a one kilowatt motor and it consumes that one kilowatt to do its top speed, which is 25 miles an hour on the CU Mini, and you've got a one kilowatt hour battery, that means flat out, that battery will be used up in one hour. One kilowatts consumes one kilowatt hour of battery in an hour. Therefore, the range would be 25 miles, okay? Similarly, if you had a one kilowatt hour uh, motor and it had 1.4 kilowatts hour of capacity, it would do 1.4 times the maximum speed that this thing does. And the Segway is a 28 mile an hour bike. So that is another difference between them. The CU Mini is a 25 mile an hour bike and the uh, Segway is 28 miles an hour. Okay, so again, if you start thinking about, I'm gonna be going down 30 mile an hour roads and that is typically the minimum speed that people are riding and you can only get to 25 miles an hour versus 28 miles an hour, would you feel more comfortable on the Segway or the CU Mini? This actually comes up quite a lot, that people get concerned about the speeds of the roads that they're going on, okay? Okay, so looking at the dashboards, you've got a, a nice little color display on the Segway. You've got your full to empty around here. Uh, this changes colors as you put it into ready. You've got modes, you've got cruise control, um, horns, indicators, and things like that which do make noise, which is obviously a good thing. On the uh, CU Mini, silent indicators, a plain sort of monochrome display, um, pretty basic, but that's sort of what you'd expect. Both of these have um, an app, uh, the main feature being the GPS tracking, which is what you particularly want. You can start the CU Mini from, sorry, the Segway from the app, uh, and it's also smart card based. So you don't actually use the key other than to open the battery compartment. So we've got the smart card here. Um, it's all done through, through this. Okay, quite a neat feature. Right, so when it comes to colors, Segway have gone for sort of more funky colors, I guess. Uh, this, it's not really red. It might be showing up as that on, on this screen, but it's more of a sort of pinky salmon not sure if I'm doing it justice, but with gray, they've also got like a bright yellow with gray and other combinations. There's five choices in total. On the CU Mini, uh, there is this white, uh, red, and then a couple of darker colors, not a, not a black. Um, I guess one of the, the big sort of elephant in the rooms at the moment is the price. So at the moment, the CU Mini is on a sale and that means that it's 700 pounds off, which means the price is only 999. So a thousand pounds plus OTR, whereas the Segway is actually 2,100. When the sale finishes with Super Soco, which might be any time now, um, we're in August, 2023, uh, the price, if it goes back to its normal price, will be 1,700. So it'd be 1,700 versus 2,100. Um, if you think about it, you are getting, let's say 40% more range, again, if all things were equal from the Segway, which sort of justifies that price difference, I guess. Um, <coughs> Segway, I guess, are a bigger global brand as well. So your question is, at the moment, why wouldn't you choose a CU Mini over a Segway? Uh, for, just on the fact that the Segway is twice the price. But technically speaking, you'll get pretty much the same out of them. Obviously a bit faster on the uh, uh, Segway, sort of by definition, because the CU Mini is limited to 25 miles an hour, whereas the Segway goes 28 miles an hour. Uh, the Segway will obviously go further because it's got 40% more battery capacity. Okay, so those are sort of your choices. So hopefully that's been useful. Um, if you like further information, please uh, contact us through any of the methods that we have. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, for updates, which will include shortly a ride review, just testing out the theory of how these bikes get up hills. And thanks very much.